Greetings, Spelman sisters. My name is Shalonda Tucker, class of 1989. I am 55 years old and I'm a breast cancer thriver. Um, I was uh, diagnosed in 2019. Um, my diagnosis actually began with lower back pain, um, which appears to be a very common symptom or indicator uh, of breast cancer. Um, it began with lower back pain. Uh, in the process of, of investigating that and seeing what was going on, I discovered a lump or really what felt like a knot on the top of my breast. Uh, as a person uh, who has experienced cysts uh, within my breast over the years, I initially wasn't overly alarmed, but as the kind of days and weeks went on, um, it definitely felt and looked very different. Uh, my physician suggested I go uh, and get an additional mammogram, which then rolled into recommendation to have a biopsy, which uh, discovered stage two breast cancer. Um, following my diagnosis, I proceeded through chemotherapy. I actually rang the bell uh, three years ago this month and um, remained cancer free. Uh, I encourage us to be diligent about our overall health, our physical health, uh, our spiritual health, um, our mental health, and also educate ourselves about breast health uh, and what good breast health looks like. Um, I was always a person who had my mammogram annually. Uh, when I discovered the lump um, uh, on my breast, I was going to be I was going to be getting my next mammogram in about 45 days. Um, so, you know, that just shows how critical it is that we conduct those on an annual basis. If you have any history uh, of breast cancer, you should uh, be diligent about that even more so and ask, ask for specific testing around that. But I also will note that the majority of breast cancer patients do not have a family history. So it's important that we stay on top of that, educate ourselves and remain aware. Thank you for the opportunity to share.